We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. As the season winds down, a pennant race comes to a head. Two division rivals face off next. Rich Hill is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Rosario. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field, number 36 on the year for him. And with it, the Indians have leveled the score at one apiece. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. The first baseman, Max Kepler. Popped up. My, my, my. Ramirez is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Twin strand a pair. Fifth inning coming up tied at one. Stepping into the box, Vaughn Harris. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Get up, get up. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone all the way into the upper deck. A solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game, and the Tribe take a 2-1 to one lead. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Digging in once again, Vaughn Harris, runner in scoring position with two gone. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Now in the box, Roberto Perez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And the count will be full. McMahon on second, Harris on at first with two down. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Hey, get your pitch up there. Another one sent foul. Have a rip like you can. Here we go now, huh? The 3 2 one more time. Lifted on, in the air to center scoring. field. Go on. Buxton will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So two runs on two hits, one twin error, and a couple of men left. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The tribe lead this one four to one. Up next for Minnesota, Josh Donaldson. The third baseman, number 24. Josh. Josh. Donaldson. 
Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Relay. Catch will be relay. made relay. here. Tagging is the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. And he is safe at the plate as he's across to make this a 4-2 game now. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. At the plate, right guy, Vaughn right Harris. Already ball. two for two. He'll look Vaughn. to add on right here. Harris. Hey, big moment. We need you. Here you go, kid. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line drive to left. Rosario will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Indians leave one, but they still lead this one four to two. So the batting order turns over now and set no to go Luis Arias. Matchup numbers with Oliver Luis. Perez. Not a big sample oh, size. 0 oh, for yeah. 1. Here's the 0 and 2. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Harris is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Twin strand a pair. They trail it here 4 to 2. Well, listen, you always want to finish strong, and they've done a real good job here notching a win on the first day of September. They're hoping that's a sign of good things to come in this final month of the season. Four to two, the final score tonight. Cleveland used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Aaron Savali gets the to double digits with his 10th win of the year. The Brad Hand earns the save out of the bullpen, his 42nd. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. Today, a matchup that could shape the playoff picture. The division's fiercest rivalry continues right after this. Homer Bailey, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do Man, a nice job of getting ball. it back Attaboy. in quickly. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. That is fifth. The right fielder, number 32, Ron Mio. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they come into this one in decent form as despite the loss last time out, they've won six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. And there are the umpires working this one calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely... A and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So a couple of hits here in the top half, but nothing comes of it. It's the Tribe nothing. Twins coming to bat. This is Major League Baseball on the show. 
Here's Nelson Cruz now. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Cruz. This is line to left. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on, and the inning is over. One more look at the circus catch in left field. An inning in the books, no score on the show. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. Hitter. Miguel Sano. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Harris is there and he has it for the out. Standing in, Vaughn Harris. He's been great lately, and it's resulted in his being awarded with the American League Rookie of the Month Award. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Liner in there for a base hit. Turn, round it, round it. Hey, great thing right there. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. No, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Manny. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home run, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now with seeing I single could be all it takes to push a run across. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. In now, Domingo Santana. Now batting, the designated hitter, Domingo Santana. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Hey, you pitch. Drive it deep. Here you go. And he misses low here, so the count goes to 3-1. and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he'll dive back in safely. No runs, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And he lays That's off there, ball four. Four, four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden, the wheels go, come baby. off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. Oscar Mercado. The 1-1 home. Fouled off. Come on, baby. Get your pitch up. Stay through. Let's go. Hey, get your pitch. Stay Needs through. a punch Let's out go. here. Can he get it? Oh, you got that one. That Liner one. in there for a base hit. One run is scored. And he is in Stay. there. Hey, even though we're in the middle of this one here, D-World, that's a big base hit and two RBIs to boot. Yeah, you never know when it's going to come, Dan, but when you see runners in scoring position, you're up to the plate, your eyes light up, and you have to come through for the team. Great at bat right there. 
Into the box now, Vaughn Harris. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. First offering on its way. Come on now, rip it. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Left fielder looking up, still going back. And that's a home run into the top tank. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, 38th home run of the season for him, as the Indians have now opened up a 5-0 lead. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Mitch Garver. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Harris is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Ready once again, Vaughn Harris. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box, Vaughn Harris. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost Harris. went deep his last Whoa, AB. Now. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at See the it, dish. Look Come for on, him kid. to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center the field turn. gap. Make the turn. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. And that'll be the right fielder, number 32, Bronmio Reyes. The 1-1 one, one home. Go. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. Set to steal, deal steal, on steal. a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw there, he is takes. not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. So they'll have to be content with just the strikeout there as the runner's able to get himself into scoring position with one away. Yeah, your pitch, your Stepping pitch right up to here. the plate, Domingo That's Santana. It was a walk Domingo in his last trip. Santana. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2-1 pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. And he fouls this one off. Eight runs on 15 hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Spin and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back in there. Hey, come on now. One time. Right here. Need you right here, kid. The payoff pitch one more time. Nope. And he side. takes ball, ball four. four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. 
He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs Let's to make go, a good pitch for a ground ball. Now batter. Striding in for the Oscar Indians, Oscar Mercado, Mercado coming off the clutch two-run hey, single his last chance. time up. Clearly off one with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. The one-two is swung on and missed strike three. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Right here. Pickoff moves to second, and the runner back safely. Here we go. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. And the runner back. Two men are on with two men out. A ball and two strikes the count to Ryan McMahon. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. Let's go. The one, two. Fouled away. Get a good one up there, huh? And that misses two and two. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Indians forced to settle for one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Indians eight and the Twins one. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Harris is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. The third baseman, number 24. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Josh Donaldson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that's going to put an end to this one. And the Indians have bounced back from losing the opener to take games two and three of this series as this one is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, the so they are very happy with this tonight. win. Eight to two tonight's Cleveland final. Indians. The Indians posted 15 hit. total hits in the no ball error. game. Daniel Mengden earned his ninth win of the year. Homer Bailey was only win. able to work four Two innings as he Six takes the loss. No so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire Time crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB minutes. The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.